Your Excellency, Minister of Water and Natural Resources of the Republic of Ethiopia, distinguished delegates and participants, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to address you today and would like to thank the Government of Ethiopia and the Global Water Partnership for co-hosting this important workshop to discuss the future of Africa and what it takes to ensure food security and nutrition for the African people. Being African and coming from an agricultural country, I know how critical good management of water resources is for achieving sustainable agriculture and food security, particularly when these resources are incredibly scarce in parts of our region. Water is the main input into agricultural production, but the competing demands on its use, rising scarcity, and the increasingly worrisome effects of climate change are posing serious challenges to agriculture and food production in our continent. I'm happy to see that my country, Sudan, is part of this initiative, along with countries from all across the continent. We are blessed by vast agricultural resources, and together we have the potential to significantly contribute to global food security if we learn how to make better use of our water and soils. The Committee on World Food Security, which I have the honor to chair, is the foremost inclusive international and intergovernmental platform for food security and nutrition. At CFS, we develop policies, agree on shared recommendations, and take decisions that aim to achieve food security and improve nutrition. But we need countries and people to join their forces and implement those policy recommendations. As chair of CFS, I'm particularly pleased to hear that the program you are going to launch will support the implementation of the CFS recommendations on water for food security and nutrition at the country level. These policy recommendations, as all CFS policies, enjoy broad legitimacy as they are based on solid evidence and scientific knowledge coming from the work of CFS high-level panel of experts. The report provided to CFS in May 2015 by its high-level panel of experts recognized that water is key to human food security and nutrition, and it is the lifeblood of ecosystems on which food security and nutrition of present and future generations depend. Informed by this report, the policy recommendations agreed by CFS proposes ways to improve water management in agriculture and food systems, recognizing that water, food security, and nutrition are intrinsically linked. In 2011, the United Nations estimated that about 800 million people in the world rely on unsafe drinking water, which affects the effective absorption of nutri nutrients. Sufficient water is essential for food production, fisheries, crops, and livestock, and for the preparation and processing of food. Safe drinking water and sanitation are both fundamental and complementary elements for ensuring healthy lives and better nutrition for all. There are some of the main challenges that we need to tackle if we want to end hunger, achieve food security, and improve nutrition, and promote sustainable agriculture by 2030. This year is a decisive one, as 2016 marks the fairest year of implementation of the Sustainable Development Agenda. If we want to succeed, we need all development partners to rethink how we work. We need to be more inclusive and to operate beyond silos. We must be aware that Agenda 2030 cannot be achieved unless all sustainable development goals are achieved together. For this to happen, 
we need to embrace an integrated approach and engage in partnerships at all levels and across all sectors. The report by the high-level panel of experts provides examples and options to achieve this via CFS policy recommendations. CFS acknowledges and strongly supports the robust multi-stakeholder process initiated by the Water Partnership to identify country-specific challenges and priorities to address water for food security and nutrition. The multi-stakeholder approach is in the blood of CFS, and its strengths has been recognized in the 2030 Agenda and in other global forums. Although it may be difficult to reach consensus among multi-stakeholders, but once common understanding has been reached on what matters and what needs to be done, stakeholders are greatly empowered in implementation. You are to be recommended for your initiative in facilitating national dialogues on the high-level panel of experts report as the CFS policy recommendations, and I count on your continued leadership to implement the recommendations on water for food security and nutrition at the country level. This two days workshop will be a great opportunity for you to progress together on the elaboration of this regional program for improving the management of water resources for food security and nutrition by implementing CFS recommendations. I hope you will be able to share your experience with CFS in the future. Be assured that the committee and myself personally strongly support this worthy initiative. Thank you and wishing you a fruitful workshop.